and we're going to do our warm-up first and then let's get cracking so start by rolling the shoulders that's it breathing in breathing out I know. Do you know what? They all come other days. Sam, I do see a lot of people the other days and in the mornings. But I think it's just also this time of year. Now, listen, Wednesday afternoon, no one seems to make. I don't know why. Anyway, that's okay. You and I, man. You and I. <laughs> Arms out to the side. Rolling the shoulders. Breathing out. Loosening off those shoulders. That's it. Ooh, lots of clicks and cracks in these shoulders. Nice. All right, let's do big circles. Then we're going to come down onto the mat. Breathing out, loosening off those shoulders. All right, coming down onto your mat. Let's place your left leg in front, leaning forward onto that leg, dropping those hips. And let's roll those hips side to side. Nice. Breathing out, loosening everything off. And then from here, send your bum back, digging that heel in, straightening that front leg, stretch. And coming forward, lift your chest. Breathing out. And forward. Nice three more think of sliding and gliding those tissues loosening everything off last one nice let's change sides leaning onto that right leg hands on the floor let's roll those hips side to side and sending your bum back digging that heel in straightening that knee Coming forward, lift your chest. That's it, three more. Great job, last one. Nice, all right, grabbing your TheraBand, let's just loosen off those shoulders. We're gonna do our shoulder mobility with this. Yes, you can stand. No, absolutely. I'm just kneeling for the video. It's easier for the camera. And breathing out. So holding it nice and wide and taking it all the way around. You can pull it out as you take it round. That's it. Beautiful. Let's go for two more. Oh, that feels so nice. Good job. All right, taking the band. You're going to hold it in your hands. We're going to do what they call the offering. So we're going to have our elbows tucked into your waist. Have the band resting on your hand. Have a little bit of, not tension, but don't let there be slack in the band. Lifting up your chest, shoulders down and back. You're going to breathe out. Open those arms, looking up at the ceiling. And then coming back to the middle. Good making sure you're not arching the back so you got to keep your tummy pulled in let's go breathing out and back nice and breathing out open pause hold it there and back good keeping those elbows by your side that's perfect great job let's go for one more and back beautiful all right let's start with standing we're going to put our big band around the thighs we're going to go old school we're going to do our little squatting series okay so having the band just above your thighs we're going to go squatting for 45 seconds just straight up and down to start with let's go in three two one down and up. Now make sure there's pressure on those knees, pushing the band out. Don't let it pull in. Back nice and straight, sending your weight through the heels, lifting your chest. Beautiful. 20 seconds gone, 25 to go. Nice work, Laura. Tummy pulled in. 
Yesterday on calendar day was dead bug day. Exactly. Thank you very much. That was Laura's day. <laughs> Let's go for three, two, one. Beautiful job. All right. We're now going to pulse it down for three, one, two, three, and then rise up. Okay. Let's go. Two, three, weight through the heels, rising up. And squeeze. Good. Two, three. Weight through those heels. I nearly fell over. 30 seconds to go. Dropping down. Remember to push those knees against the band. One, two, three. Great job. For 10 seconds. Five, three, two, and one. Beautiful. Right, now we're going to squat and lift up our one leg. So we're going to squat and then lift. When you take it out to the side, remember not to move your body. So you want to keep up nice and tall. So if you want, you can lift that arm up. And then we're going to alternate sides. Let's go. Dropping down and lift. Good. Breathing out. Making sure those weight goes through your heels. That's it. <laughs> Careful. Growing up nice. Exactly. Nice and tall. So kind of find your balance on that leg first. Lifting up. Beautiful. 20 seconds. Tummy pulled in. Breathing in, breathing out. That's it. 10. Perfect job. Three, two, one. Beautiful. All right. Now we're going to stand on your left leg. We're going to take the leg out sort of 45 degrees behind us. So it's not straight behind. It's not out to the side. It's at an angle. Squeezing in here. You're welcome to hold on to something for balance if you want. Let's go in three, two, one. Leg going out and back. Keep the leg nice and straight. Chest up, tummy pulled in. That's it. Squeeze that bum. Beautiful. We got 15 seconds left. Tummy in. Shoulders down and back. Five, three, two, one. Perfect. Let's change sides. Have that standing leg slightly bent, but the one you're moving out back to the side is dead straight. Let's go in three, two, one. Let's go. <sighs> Breathing out as you squeeze. Making sure your back stays dead still, so it's just from that butt. Nice. Tummy in. 20 seconds to go. Nice work. 10. 3, 2, 1, and relax. Beautiful. Nice work. Right, coming to lie on your back. Keep the band on for now. So we're going to do our little pelvic sort of curl series. Have the band just above the knee, so it's a little bit higher up. Feet on the floor, feet hip distance apart, tummy pulled in. We're going to stay on the ground for 45, pushing those knees open. Then we're going to open the feet a little wider, lifting up and down. Then we're going to hold it up there and pulse the knees open, okay? So tummy pulled in. Breathing out. Let's go. Keep the back down and just taking those knees open and closed. You want to keep that tummy pulled in because we've got our back down on the floor. Really focus on that connection. Breathing out. Great job. 15 seconds to go. Tummy in. 
five, three, two, one. Perfect. Now open your feet a little bit wider, push those knees open. Pushing through the heels, we're gonna lift up and down for 45. So your legs are gonna be a little bit wider, knees open, and let's go. Breathing out, keep this connection in your abs. And I want you to keep pushing those knees against the band so they're a little bit at an angle. Great job, 20 seconds. Squeeze. Ten seconds. Great job. Keep going. Whew, this is hard. Five, three, two, one, and down. Beautiful. Have a little rest. Yeah, that's hard. Now we're going to lift it up, keep the legs slightly open, and pulse outwards. So with this, I don't want you to think about bringing your knees together. I just want you to think about pushing out. It, it mounts to the same thing, but it changes the focus. So feet a little wider, tummy pulled in, let's lift up and pulse out. You want to keep your hips and your bum dead still. Excellent. Keep squeezing. Tummies in. Push through those heels. Awesome. 20 seconds to go. Squeeze that butt. Ten. Tummy in. Nice work. Three, two, one, and relax it down. Woo! Your bottom is going to look very perky in France, Laura. <laughs> That's what we want. Perky. All right, let's bring those legs up into tabletop. Tummy pulled in, knees over your hips. We're going to go into our leg swap, so pushing against the band. Let's go, breathing out. And really making sure that you hinge from the hip. Your knee angle stays the same, your back is glued to the floor. Great job. Tuck that pelvis under. Keep thinking of keeping that coccyx tilted to your nose. 20 seconds. Great breathing. I love to hear the breathing. I can a little bit. It's very, very gentle, but I can hear it's good. Three. No, but with Pilates and relax, you need to be, I need, it helps me to hear your breathing because then I know you're doing it right. So it's great. Right, now we're going to stay here. Grab your TheraBand. Keep your band on your knees because we're going to use it just now. Place the TheraBand on top of your knees. Holding it on either side. Pull the arms down so the arms are flat on the floor. You want your palms flat on the floor or your fists, palms facing down, arms dead straight. Now this ends up being mostly an arm exercise. So arms straight down and we're going to lift up and down, keeping those arms on the floor the whole time. So we're working this posterior chain. Okay, let's go. Three, two, one. So you still want to pull your abs in, you're going to push through the heels. Most important thing is from your shoulder blades and your triceps, pushing those fists down towards the floor. <sighs> Breathing out. That's it, beautiful. Keep those arms pushing down to the floor. We got 20 seconds to go. <sighs> Great job, squeeze. Excellent, for five. Three, two, and one. Nice. Right, placing the band around the feet. Pop the feet up towards the ceiling. Your knees can be bent. I want your feet directly over your hips. So whatever your knees need to do, I don't want you there. I want literally here. Holding on the band on both sides. Now with this, 
think of digging your shoulder blades into the floor and I want you to hold that connection. Tummy in, we're gonna pull that band down, elbows tucked in. Now also here, watch that your shoulders don't come forward. You wanna keep digging those shoulder blades into the floor. Okay, let's go in three, two, one. And you want a little pause and slowly back. So remember to dig the bones of your shoulder blades into the floor and back. Tummy still pulled in, keep those elbows tucked in towards your side. Pause and up. Nice work. Breathing out, we got 15 seconds to go. Squeeze those shoulder blades into the floor. Don't let that connection go. Nice, for five, three, two, one. Beautiful. Now we're gonna change it slightly. We're gonna pull those elbows out to the side in line with your shoulders. So now your palms face back towards the wall behind you. Push those shoulder blades into the wall and let's go. So when you get to the bottom, you want to make sure that your arms are touching here and then you come back. Dig those shoulder blades in. Pause and back. Keep the shoulder blades digging in as you release those arms. Tummy pulled in. Nice. We got 15 seconds to go. Beautiful. For five, three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Take your feet out the band. Now you can use your TheraBand for this, or if your band is not broken, you can use a ring one. We're going to do our shoulder pushing out. Again, you can hold the TheraBand completely fine. Otherwise, put the band around your wrists. Feet on the floor, tummy pulled in, low back is glued to the floor. You're going to dig those shoulder blades into the floor. Arms are dead straight. And we're going to pulse those arms out. Let's go. Now with this pulsing, those arms stay dead straight and the pulsing comes from the shoulders. Tummy's pulled in, neck is protected. Dig those shoulder blades into the floor. It's a lot to think about. I want you to also, adding to the mix, try and think of putting your rib cage down so that you're not winging that rib cage. Nice, we've got 15 seconds to go. Breathing out, squeeze, arms strong. For five, three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful, well done. Very nice. Now, I'm just gonna test something out. I'm gonna try something here. I'm kind of playing around with it. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, you're gonna take your TheraBand, you're gonna lie it on the floor. We're going to do triceps, overhead triceps with the TheraBand. Okay, so we're, so we're lying on our TheraBand. The strong bottom will keep it down. <laughs> the strong bottom will keep it down. That's it. Right. So from here, we're going to go one arm at a time. I want you to keep your elbow in line with your shoulder. So we're kind of pulling the band against our head. And we're going to straighten it up and down. So as long as you're not too precious about your hair. Okay, so from here and slowly down. You want to make sure again that I'm going to do it on this arm. You want to pull the shoulder blade down. If it's too much, you can do it over your shoulder. So again, you can kind of have the band over the shoulder if it feels too weird on your head. That might be better. Let's go. Yeah, it's better on the shoulder. So I'm really literally playing around with this as we go, but this is perfect. So over the shoulder is great. Keep that shoulder blade pulled down. Your upper arm stays dead still. 
and you're just straightening from the elbow working the back of the arms triceps so when we wave we just wave once not with our arm bat, our wing what's it bat wings yeah. we don't want those turkey wings. turkey wings it's christmas time turkey wings tummy pulled in say no to turkey wings okay. let's go for 10 more it's nice i like it nice five more three two one Ooh, that's a firm favorite yeah okay change hands so take the band over to the other shoulder so it goes over the other shoulder again reconnect that tummy you still want to think of your abs the whole time and let's go slowly down great job if anyone is struggling with this you can use weights this is actually a skull crusher so you can always use weights but I like the band it adds a nice resistance we work in the back here the triceps we've got 20 seconds to go it is more focused and there's resistance the whole way which is why I love working with the band five three two one perfect job right let's come to lie on your side okay right we're going to do some more butt okay we're going to go into our clam stinger with the band so yes no no problem we're going to lie on your side. You're going to lift those feet up. So for those doing an recording, the clam sting, you open, extend, toes, and close. Let's go in three, two, one. I want your abs still pulled in. Your hips stay facing forward. That's it. Keep the tummy in and squeeze from your butt that's it beautiful 25 seconds to go great job nice work we've got 10 seconds squeeze breathing out five three two one Woo. perfect okay we're going to do a little shoulder rehab one as well so i want you now to lie if your theraband is close to you you're going to lie on your theraband sort of under your rib cage stay in this position on your side you're going to hold the band right at your chest here elbow tucked in and we're going to lift the arm up to in line with your body and down it's a small movement so we're literally just doing this from across your abs ah. is it hurting no, just rotating. yes exactly sorry I thought you said it was hurting the shoulder and I want you just to go in line with your body I don't want you to go further so you just come up to in line with your waist like parallel to the floor and down if you take it further you can pinch the shoulder so let's go for 10 with this I'm not going to time this one shoulders down and back set that shoulder pulling it up slowly down and squeeze really setting that shoulder back nice small exercise but really good for the rotator cuff five more Woo! this burns in my shoulder it's a good one this is my injured shoulder so well my previously injured shoulder <laughs> three two last one goodness that was very good for this I, I can't believe how much that hurt all right <laughs> I probably shouldn't say that on screen all right straighten out your straighten out your top leg tummy pulled in stretching that leg out we're going to lift that leg up and down 
let's go. Now remember from here, you don't want the waist moving. You want to keep this little tunnel under your waist, tummy pulled in, the leg just from below the hip bone is moving. The temptations to get that waist to move, we want to set it dead still. That's it, shoulders down and back, tummy in, 20 seconds to go. Squeeze, control the down. Amazing. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and relax. Beautiful. Let's come lie on our other side. So we're going to go into our clam stinger. Keep your theraband close. You can even lie on it now for when we do our shoulder. Knees together, feet together. Lifting the feet off the floor. And tummy pulled in, let's go. Clam stinger. Open, extend, toes and close. Keeping those hips facing forward. Excellent job. 20 seconds to go. Tummy in, squeeze. You. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and relax it down. Nice, now we're gonna do our little shoulder rehab. So tuck that top elbow in at your waist, set that shoulder blade down. Hold the band right by your rib cage. We're gonna lift, hold it, and down. Let's go for 10. And down, nice work. Really focusing on setting that shoulder blade down and back as you do this. Nice, we've got five more. Three. Last one. Amazing job, sure. So for me, the big difference between the two sides is huge. Really? Yeah, because my, no, well, that's, that's good. They should be, so that's amazing. My right shoulder is my, so yeah. So it's a really good one for me to do. So if anyone doing the recording feels that, don't worry about it, just train the weaker side. <laughs> All right, stretching that leg out, tummy pulled in. Get that little tunnel under your waist and let's go, lifting that leg up and down. Remember not to hitch the waist, you want to keep it nice and steady. Beautiful, tummy in. Lifting that leg up and down, slowly down. That's it, keep your belly button pulled in, you want to have that little tunnel under your waist. 10 seconds. Five, one, and relax. Beautiful. All right. We're going to line your back. Let's take this band off your thighs. We're going to do some abs. Um, if you've got the little band, you don't. You can always just you can always tie this in a knot and put it around your feet. Otherwise, do it without the band because it's a tough exercise anyway. We're going to lie on your back, start with just pushing and pulling, breathing in, breathing out. Tuck that tailbone to your nose, flex the feet, legs and tabletop. If you want, yeah, you can do that. Oh, there we go. So Laura, that's very clever. So you can hold it here. You can push one leg out. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> okay. Tummy pulled in. Let's go. Laura's thought of a harder exercise. You go, Laura. Love that about you. <laughs> Tummy pulled in. Now you've got to stick with this for 45 seconds. That's the key. 45 seconds. No stopping now. 
breathing out. Knees staying over your hips, back staying glued to the floor. If you can't keep your back to the floor, bring your knees in a little bit. 15 seconds to go. Nice. Five. Three. Two. One. Well done. Have a rest. Very good. Okay, we're going to go into our dead bug from here. So now I take the band off. Let's do the dead bug without the band. Arms up, legs up, tilt that coccyx to your nose. Let's go. Breathing in straight to opposite arm and leg. Coming back. Beautiful. Tummy pulled in. Back stays glued to the floor. That's it. Awesome. We've got 30 seconds. Nice. 15 seconds to go. Keep those abs engaged the whole time. Nice work for five, three, two, and one. Relaxing it down. Hug your knees into your chest. All right, last one with the band. Take a TheraBand, wrap the band around your feet. We're going to do a little... So you want, I want you to hold like when we did this, you bring your elbows down to the floor, but now you're going to bend your knees and you're going to push your feet out at a diagonal. But you must be able to keep your back on the floor. Don't arch it. Okay. So only lower the legs as much as you can, controlling the abs. Let's go. Tummy pulled in. So it's kind of like a little leg press, but really working those abs. Great job. Shoulders down and back. If you feel any pain in your back, lift your legs higher. If you're able to keep your back down on the mat, take it down a little bit. That's beautiful. We got 10 seconds to go. Nice. Three, two, and one beautiful job take the band and just have it around your left foot holding it in your left hand we're going to stretch that right leg down away get this elbow down to the floor and pull that leg towards you so you really feel that stretch in your hamstring now take that leg out to the side so you feel a nice stretch on your inner thigh all the way Breathing out, try and relax it there. And then bringing that band back. So now from here, we're gonna do, we did this the other day. I want you to take that leg across your body, but don't lift this butt up. So only take it across as much as you can. And now roll your foot to the inside and bring it back out. So you keep your leg in that position and you're just gonna pulse that foot in and out. And this is quite a neural stretch. Yeah, so you might feel it sort of down the side here. And let's take that leg all the way back out. And bring it across, back up. Take it over a little bit as long as you keep your butt down. And then roll the foot in and out. That's it, going for five. Nice, and then let's change legs. I'm going to roll the other side so I don't hit the wall. So lying down is just your hamstring stretch first. Pull the arm down, pull that leg up towards you, have that knee straight. And then take the leg out to the side. Relaxing it here. Feeling that stretch on your inner thigh. Bringing that leg across, very nice. Now from here, take it across as much as you can, keeping that butt down. 
roll that foot in oh this is much more on this side Shoo. in and out so if anyone's sprained ankles had any injuries down here this is a really good one to do and then take that leg back out to the side stretching it out relaxing it there bringing it back up take it across keeping your butt down roll that foot in and out for five that's it feel that stretch down the outside of the shin and relax nice hug that right knee into your chest Keep that left leg stretched out. And we're gonna pull that knee across to your left side, stretching out your low back. Have your right arm out, palm facing upwards. You wanna to aim to get that knee down to the floor and the shoulders up to the ceiling. Great job and coming back let's change sides left knee in right leg out and pulling it across stretching looking at your left hand palm facing upwards beautiful hugging those knees into your chest and rolling up excellent job wow you're a machine thank you, thank you so much